Hey, what's up everybody? Sleepa Elis here. Thanks again for watching and welcome to a new episode of Crypto 101 with the famous DJ. So in the last episode, I showed you how to create a paper wallet for Bitcoin, Dash and any other altcoins. And I mentioned there that I would make a new video how to create a Monero offline wallet. If you want to understand why it is important to create a paper wallet, I would suggest to look back at my previous episode. You can also go to the previous episode by clicking on the link at the end of this video. This is going to be a short video because it's very easy to create the offline wallet for Monero. So let's go! So in order to create the offline paper wallet for Monero, you need to go to www.moneroaddress.org. When you come to this website, it is important to go to this link right here. Then click on Monero Wallet Generator, download this, this HTML file and ensure that your computer is not connected to the internet because you need to be offline. Then whenever you have done that, you will get to the similar page as at www.moneroaddress.org. And it is as simple as this guys. So basically the only thing that you need to do is click on this button right here. If you scroll a little bit more down, you'll see that the new public address and mnemonic seed is being generated as soon as you click on generate wallet. So again, please ensure that you are offline. Click on the generate wallet. And this is the public address which is required to send your funds to. And this one need to be noted down and should never be lost. Because this will hold your private key. Right? So basically if you want to spend something, you need to use the spend key and the few key for this. So I would suggest to print out this page multiple times, ensure that the printer is also not a wireless printer connected to the internet and keep this safe because when it's lost it's lost and you cannot get back to your funds that's the way I've once lost 80 Moneros so what is also important and this tip is given by a fellow youtuber yellow fever for you and he indicated whenever you get rid of your printer also ensure that it get demolished because there is always an image file on your printer that can read out everything that you have printed. So if you are really paranoid, also please ensure that you demolish your printer. So that's it for today guys. I'll keep it short. I hope this was helpful. See you next time. Peace out.